Uh, a little damp out there as you prepare for your morning commute. Welcome back to 642 on your Monday. You know, coyotes have been a concern for years in some parts of our viewing area, but just last week we saw reports of a young child getting attacked with a coyote possibly to blame. So in case you encounter one, what should you do? That's what we're learning about this morning with Jamie Emmert from ODNR. Jamie, thanks for taking some time out. We appreciate it. Good morning. It's my pleasure. Thank so, you. First off, uh, I, I'm wondering, are coyotes more prevalent these days than they used to be? I mean, it almost seems like that. It, has anything changed? That's a great question, and it depends on what you mean by used to be. If we go way back to the early 1900s, things were very, very different, and we have cleared the land for agriculture. It used to be a very heavily forested state here in Ohio. And that meant that we had mountain lions and wolves and black bears. And due to habitat loss and unregulated hunting, we removed those predators from the landscape. And there was a niche that opened up and coyotes took advantage of that opportunity. We started moving eastward. And by the, the 1990s, we started seeing an uptick in coyotes. So if you happen to see one, I mean, I, I, I think all of us probably have somebody that they know on Facebook that have posted a picture of, of a coyote sneaking into their yard or something. If you see one, what, what should you do? So coyotes are remarkable creatures, love them or hate them. They're very intelligent and their ability to adapt is just, it's just crazy. I mean, they, they can adapt to virtually any environment provided to them. And that means urban areas, suburban areas. They are animals that can eat just about anything from carrion, which is dead stuff, to nuts and plant material. And the, they're mousers, so they'll eat chipmunks. That mean, That's why they're in your yard, is any animal that, that you might be seeing, any wild animal is looking for essential components that they need to survive. Humans are the same way. We need food, water, shelter, and space. So one of those things must be attractive to a coyote coming into your yard. So you need to make it uncomfortable. Remove those attractants. Remove garbage that's unkempt. Barbecue grills be cleaned up after each time because they are a treat to virtually any animal. And just do things like keep pet food in, at, especially at nighttime. All those things will help alleviate conflicts with not just coyotes, but other species too. If you see a coyote, you wave your hands, shout at it, make it feel uncomfortable, and make it leave. And that way, a coyote will not become used to your presence, and that means it will run away. That's what we want. Uh, are they typically dangerous, though, for, uh, for people or, uh, I mean, or, or small? Maybe you have a small pet. Or, are they, is this something that we should keep in mind? Excellent question, and typically no. Thousands of humans live amongst thousands of coyotes and don't even know it every day across the country. Coyotes are animals that are about 35 to 45 pounds, so a medium-sized dog, they, they eat primarily chipmunks, squirrels, mice, and in addition to plant material, nuts and berries, they're not looking for a fight. This time of year, they're looking to protect their pups. And this is when we can see some conflicts arise. They become a little defensive of their territory. So the best thing that we can do as, as landowners is to keep our, our property cleaned up. If we don't want wildlife there, things that we could, there's many steps that we can take to be responsible landowners and pet owners. I have a very spirited Jack Russell mix. She it will chase a coyote give her the opportunity she's she's only 20 pounds but she thinks she's much larger i have to keep her leashed or tethered with a cable or at least inside a fenced in backyard at all times if she chases a coyote one of two things might happen the coyote might run away or it might stand its ground i don't want to find out so i keep my pets contained yeah uh, good advice for sure I, if uh, if you do see maybe a coyote uh, a repeated uh, appearance from a coyote or something should you call a, a local dog warden a trapper or anything like that what's your advice so if you just see a coyote that's not cause for alarm even in the daytime naturally speaking coyotes will hunt when they're hungry especially if they have pups to feed so they tend to be more nocturnal because that way they can avoid humans that's typically a healthy coyote is going to try to avoid humans watching humans from a distance is not is not unusual because they're intelligent creatures curious and inquisitive so to see a coyote that's not cause for alarm clap your hands shout at it make it run away but if that coyote advances forward it growls that's definitely a cause to ask questions at least is that is there a den nearby and that coyote feels like it needs to protect itself so that's the time to keep pets contained keep an eye 
on things and just watch and learn. But if that coyote is being very brazen, that means that it's too late for the hand clapping and the shouting that it's advancing forward. You need to at least, at least let law enforcement know. There's a wildlife officer assigned to every county. So in Trumbull County or Mahoning County, for instance, there's a wildlife officer that can help offer guidance. Call 1-800-WILDLIFE for more information or visit wildohio.gov for steps that will help help you eliminate or prevent conflicts. And there's other options too, where a, the coyote, a target coyote can be trapped and, and removed from the landscape if need be. So there's options, but the best thing to do is call a professional 1-800-WILDLIFE for guidance. All right, great advice this morning, Jamie. We really appreciate you taking some time out. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. I'm glad to do it. All right, trivia time. Coming